What's up, good people of Gladstone Staff High School? Today is September 22nd. Had a couple questions coming in about how to access your text chat and then also how to download your recordings, edit them, and then repost to Classroom. So let's go for it. Um, as far as the text conversation, chat conversations go, um, those are going to be located in your documents folder. So if you cruise on over and then go to your documents, open up the Zoom folder, and then these will all be labeled by date stamp. So I would open up that one um, or the one that had the actual link in it, which was here. And then this chat is now open, and you can go ahead and print that off or save it to wherever you're going to save it to. Um, you don't really need to resave it because it's already nicely organized right here for you. So that's how to get your chats. Um, for the recordings, I'm going to head over to the Zoom website, click on my recordings tab, and you can sort these by the month, day, and year, or just by the day. And so I'll go ahead and go to this one more and I'm going to download two files and so you'll notice over here at the bottom left corner of your screen you've got two new downloads um, they will both work in a video editor but the one that's the most consistent is the mp4 so I opened up my video editor that was automatically loaded onto your computer I'm going to make a new video project and I'll call it period 5, 9, 22, Zoom meeting. Okay. Click on the Add button on this PC. And then here's my meeting. And you can just drag that down to your storyboard. If you want to be real fancy and add in a title card about the dating and everything. And then as far as the um, actual recording goes, if you go to trim, you can shorten that or cut off the beginning, whatever you feel is necessary. You can preview it here. Once you're happy with the edit, go ahead and say done. And then I'm going to click on Finish Video. And I would recommend doing these at low because they're going to be posted on the web anyway. Export. And those are going to be saved in your Pictures um, folder. And then you could create maybe some subfolders by your periods. Export. And it's going to give you a preview of that for one last final edit. So if you're happy with that, go ahead and head back to your classroom, classwork, create Zoom recordings for 9 22 20 and you can add in the recording here as a file you're gonna to have to upload it from your computer again those are in your pictures folder yeah, it was in period one there it is it's already got a date on it so leave that alone and it's probably going to take, you know, maybe like an hour to um, get that to stream. So maybe just let your students know ahead of time. And then I'll go ahead and post it. And so what I can do now is every time I want to add in my Zoom recording, um, I can go ahead and create material and just give it the new title date and then add the video here and then under your topic now you've got this um, you can create a topic called zoom recordings 
for whatever week that is. And once you post it, it'll be under all of that one week by week. That's how I'm organizing it in my classroom. So hopefully that helps. I'll go ahead and pull this up on YouTube for y'all, and let me know if you need more help.